It's a gun slate. Well, how'd you spot me so quick? Well, I've seen your picture many times in the Denver papers. In fact, I'm flattered that they sent you after me. Well, for $20,000, you're worth the best. That it here? That's right. But now, if you don't mind, would you step over to your left? <laughs> Now, wait a minute, Slate. You wouldn't use that, would you? That's up to you. Don't use it. Is the money you stole from the orphans? Oh, please. Now, Slate, don't put it that way. It doesn't sound very nice. Well, it's not very nice. You. The treasurer of the Denver Children's Charity. Pretty low, Baxter. Yes, it is, isn't it? You know, I, I don't understand it myself. For ten years, I was a faithful public servant. All that money going through my hands every day, and then all of a sudden, one day, suddenly something snapped. Yeah. Well, it better all be here. Oh, it is, it is. It, um, on my word of honor. Your word of what? Well, all right, you can count it yourself. After all, you travel fast. I didn't have much time to spend it. Don't worry. I'll count it. Later. You know, the little orphans ought to be very happy now. They might even give you a ice cream social. Let's go, Baxter. I'll carry... Uh, I'll open the door. After you. Well, I, I was looking for a Mr. Slade. Well, you found him. You? That's right. <laughs> Thank goodness. I'm Katie Phillips, Mr. Slade. I've been searching the whole train for you since I got on at Sacramento. For me? Why? Oh, I promised my aunt. You see, she took me to the train, and, and the station master told her that there was a famous detective aboard. You got on at San Francisco, didn't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> well... She was bound and determined I should, I should look for you. May I ask again why? So you could protect me. Protect you? From what? From bandits, of course. Train robbers. Uh, I beg pardon, Miss Phillips. Uh, Baxter's my name, Jason Baxter. Uh, you're not serious. Oh, yes. This train has been held up any number of times for the gold in the baggage car. Hmm, but they'll be sorry if they try it this time, won't they, Mr. Slade? Oh, they sure will, because there's no gold on this train. Wrong pocket, Baxter. Ted Slade, don't you ever sleep? Handcuffs? Oh, oh, don't be alarmed, Miss Phillips, don't be alarmed. I am not a hardened criminal. No, I am purely an amateur. You see, my dear, I stole food for my little ones. You mean from them? Pardon me. Oh, uh, miss, you, you forgot your gloves. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Something wrong, you suppose? You probably scare away. Don't be ridiculous. Hey, what happened to the diamond stick pin you were wearing? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> well, I took a nap a little while ago, and, um... Yes, Slade, you can't be too careful. That's right. You never know when you might run into someone that's dishonest. So true, Slade. You... Slade, you cut me deeply. Why'd we stop? Oh, probably just a cow on the track or something. Try that, mister. We don't want nothing from you passengers. Just keep quiet. You. Who, me? Bring that other hand up, nice and slow. Well, uh... He can't. He shackled. This guy a lawman? My friend, do you suppose that you could aid a fellow... Why not? Go ahead. Unlock it. Key's right here. Get it. If you're fool enough to try any tricks. Oh. Oh. Nobody move until this train starts rolling. I'll be with you in just a moment. It can't be like she said. There had to be gold on that train. Got an ounce. The government crossed us, that's all. Might as well be heading back to Jackson Springs. With nothing to show for it. Hey, who's this? Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Delightful day, isn't it? <laughs> and I must say, it does my heart good to see the working man up and at it so bright and early. Who's he? Forgot all about him. Some lawman on the train had him in irons. I turned him loose. And won my undying gratitude, if I may say so, sir. <laughs> Gentlemen, Baxter is the name, Jason Baxter. What'd they get you for? Oh, nothing, really. A mere picadillo. Could happen to anyone. Thought you stole food from orphans. Why, Miss Phillips. Conroy, Mr. Baxter. Katie Conroy. I'm partners with these lunkheads. This is Jed Trumbo. That one over there is my brother, Monty. Ah, then you were a lookout for them on the train. You got the picture. How ingenious. Ah, then that was the reason why you were shining up to Slade that way, eh? Who's Slade? He's a detective. He had the man in irons. We'd better be pulling out. If he can find us, I guess almost anybody can. Uh, gentlemen, would, would, would there be any possibility that you would allow me to join you temporarily? Oh, why should we? Well, after all, I am alone, afoot, a stranger in the wilderness. Sure. You can't leave him here. He'd starve to death. He can ride the mule. Go ahead. Climb aboard. I am very grateful to you, sir, I am sure. And believe me, sir, I shan't be any burden to you and your companion. Now I... Oh, that was helpful. Thank you. Nothing bothers me more than to have someone interfere in my business, especially when a gunslinger relieves me of my prisoner. If it wasn't for my horse riding in the baggage car, I never could have picked up the trail. Just not hungry. I've been watching you for a few days. 
What's troubling you? You seem kind of upset about something. If you must know what's troubling me, it's you, Trumbo, and my, my brother, Monty. How I ever got mixed up in this mess, I'll never understand. Ah, uh, now, get a hold of yourself. Stop your infernal pawing. Just leave me alone. Now, you heard her leave her alone. You're gonna be sorry you did that. And when she tells you to leave her alone, you do it, you understand? Come on, break it up. Can you tell this monkey? I'm telling you both. Now, I'll have no more of this. Well, it uh, seems to me that you good people are allowing yourselves to become rather touchy over simple business reverses. What business? Well, the business which we're all in. What we might call, I suppose, the business of crime for profit. It's the first time I ever heard it called that. Yes, and I suppose it probably also never occurred to you that like any other enterprise of comparable magnitude, it is subject to its own seasonal and periodic fluctuation. You see, gentlemen, that's why you're all in this trouble. For instance, let me explain. You see, every big business is a gamble. But you gentlemen are ignoring the statistics of your occupation. The statistics which could not only practically eliminate the hazards, but thereby reduce the risks. Do you follow me? No, I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, here's something for you to figure. What are the odds that the law is trailing us right this minute? That fellow Slade, for instance. Now that got a rise out of you, didn't it? He must have made a real big impression. What if he did? So what? If Slade does catch up with us, I wouldn't want his chances of living to tell about it. I'm gonna take care of him myself. Water the horses? Yep. Mule, too. Gonna need him bad. Katie's mare's gone lame. Oh, no. Can the mule carry both me and Mr. Baxter? Well, should be able to. Yeah, but no gear. He ought to ditch that suitcase. Oh, no. Uh, really, this, this isn't heavy at all. It looks like a waste of time. What's in it? Well, you see, they're merely personal papers. But if these should fall into the wrong hands, gentlemen... Don't worry. They're not gonna. Oh, no, 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 please. I, you see? Open it. What? Let's see them papers. <laughs> the, the, the gentlemen, these papers couldn't possibly. No, no, really. The, the, gentlemen, believe me, the, the gentlemen. What are you, the bait? Oh, how could you say such a thing, Slade? Where are the rest of them? They have gone. They have departed. Hey, let me have a look at that. What hit you? A gun barrel. They took everything. The money, ev everything. Diamond stick pin too, huh? Yeah. The girl tried to save me. What girl? Katie Conroy. Well, that's Miss Phillips to you, the one on the train. So she's part of the gang, too, huh? Yeah. Sort of shakes your faith in human nature, doesn't it? Well, we'll have to ride double if I can get you a horse. Well, well, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, Slate. I don't even know if I can ride. You'll ride. But I know where they went. Where? I, I know the name of the place anyway. They made no secret about it. Something called Jackson Springs. Jackson Springs, huh? Well, we'll find it. <laughs> That's pretty good. You all set? Hang on. Hang on. All right, okay. 
I figured it was best not to be seen in town with Baxter, so I left him outside of Jackson Springs. What? Neat or with water? Oh, I'm not drinking. And what'd you come in for? Information. I'm sure you've got the biggest stock of that in town. If I do, it's because I don't give it away. All right, listen. You know anybody around here by the name of Conroy? Katie Conroy? What do you want with her? I'm paying for the answers. Fork in the road, a couple of miles north of here. Take the left fork. The Conroy mine's up that way. Mine? Coal mine? Mm-hmm. Pay well? Ask them. There's Marty now. Hey, Marty. Yeah? Fella here asking for your sister. What's your name, mister? Where'd you know Katie? Listen, you, I'm waiting for an answer. Where'd you meet her? On the train. Same place I first saw that stick pin. Slay the detective. Uh-uh. Take fair. <laughs> Some other young squirt. Uh, wearing your stick pin. That would be Jeb, the jealous shooter. Very dangerous man, I'm Let's afraid. go. Well, all right. I'm... Let's go. Must be the Conroy place. Bartender said they had a gold mine. Imagine. They own a gold mine and they rob trains. Some people are just greedy. I don't know how much time we have, but let's look at the mine first. Wouldn't want to get caught there. What's funny? I could use a laugh. For a mine that's supposed to be producing. I don't see any signs of it being worked. What's this? California stage line. You see what they've been doing? Stealing gold from the trains, melting it down and then selling it back to Uncle Sam as though it was dug from this hole in the ground. Slade, that's brilliant! Do you... It's deplorable. I mean, the people would go to... It, 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 it. Slade! Slade, are you in there? That's Katie. <laughs> well, it's the lady on the train. When I saw the horses, I knew it must be you. Mr. Baxter! I'm so glad. I, I thought maybe they'd killed you. Yes, well, I'm glad that you were wrong. Now they'll kill you both. They'll be here any minute. I managed to sneak ahead. Now, why should you care? Ever since we met on the train, I, I've been bothered with this thing I'm part of. All right. All right, I believe you. Just one more time. Then will you please go while you can? Not without that suitcase. It's in the cabin. I'll get it for you. If you promise, then you'll go. We'll wait here. There they are, back. 
Baxter's with him. Dismount, spread out so they don't get away. chance to get out of this mess. I'm turning the money over to the sheriff. It's your only chance too, Monty. I know you've wanted out for a long time. The only reason why you stayed in was because of me. But I'm not staying any longer. Monty, if you don't leave now... All right, sis. <laughs> Hold it. So you were gonna run off with the money. Probably plan to meet Slade in town. And you, you are gonna help her do it. Get that bag off the saddle. <laughs> He live. Here's his gun. I'm gonna see what's going on up at the cabin. Keep an eye on him. Drop the shotgun or I'll... The next one will be right between the eyes. didn't make it, huh? No. But I see you got the money. Yep. It's all here. That's excellent, Slade. Really excellent. And now, I'll relieve you of it. Slade, I... No, 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 no. no. Wait a minute, Slade. Wait a minute. I said I'll take that money. I... I said I'll take that money, Slade. What's the matter? Don't you understand English? You know, I went through a lot to get that. Perhaps you don't think that I'd really shoot. You might, but the gun won't. What? Now, you don't think that I'd actually give you a loaded gun, do you? You mean that you... <laughs> oh, really? I should have known. going to be a little late delivering my prisoner back to Denver, all because of a gold shipment that wasn't on the train. However, I guess it was worth it. Katie Conroy was going to be all right. 